guys, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 with Sneewa Games. Yeah, this is like a short little video which is going to show you the weapons and all the like things you get by killing the people. This is Benjamin Church's m me me into his meta thing. It's like a pocket watch, which like, if, you, if you ever play the full game, you use it at the beginning when you first see him. Yeah, it's quite good out if I do so say myself. This is um this is actually not one of the main people in the game, this is like if you ever do all the naval missions, like if you go on your naval missions and click on the Templar sign, this is in a, a really powerful like ship captain Templar and he's like he's quite easy to defeat after you do all the little missions. This is Hickey's motto, this is his belt he wore. When um when you got caught, it it, it ripped. I mean, it's not, you, if you look closely, it ripped and you picked them up. But it looks like Connor's mended it and put it as a a mentor. This is I can't pronounce that, but that this is the thing he wore around his neck. When um, cause he 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 was part Native American, even though he betrayed us all. This is the thing he he wore around his neck to prove so we wouldn't attack him, but we did. This is Charles Lee's meta. Oh, the bit I don't get right is how come it's still here even though we completed the game so it's been taken away. And at the end of the game, he, um, Connor buried it. That's just weird. And this, is, and this is the thing that troubles me the most. This is Hafen's meta. It has the Assassin logo on it even though it's a Templar. That's just like really weird because if you ever play number one or number two, if you're ever an assassin going to a Templar, you have to destroy every bit of evidence of you being an assassin. Or they, or they would kill you on sight. So that, that, that kind of like, made me go, huh? Okay, now it's going to start with the weapons. I haven't lost them all yet, even though I don't have a lot of money, I just can't be bothered to. Well, I can't, I can't be bothered to, it's just it'll take too long. This is the broken sword knife. You get this by asking big... The, bit, the the blacksmith dude to make you a, a sword and make him smash it down to a broken sword and then you get a broken sword knife. It is really fast even though it's kind of really useless as well because it doesn't really do a lot of damage and this is just the original stuff that you guys know about. Here, he, over here are all the clubs you can buy at the shop. This is the Woodstock War Club. It's not, if you look at the thing up there, it's not as good as some of the other weapons, but it is still quite good. That was the wooden one, the stone one, and the iron one. To, actually, to be honest, the stone one costs more than the iron one. It's weird. This is the heaven axe. It cost me an absolute crap load, but it's a, it's a good axe if you want to be like one of the people crossing around all the time. Sorry you guys, I just have to do this because like, this is the naval axe, if you guys see one of the, do you know when you, like, some people, the big guys get out these axes, or maybe it's the one above, and they attack you with it, I got this off of them then when you like, you can use your tomahawk when you open a chest, and you just get it really, it takes a while though. <laughs> you guys seen this, watch. It's like... Things that like guns, it's so weird. It's so weird. Ah. These are just some other swords. This is the Washington's battle sword. This isn't as good as Lincoln's battle sword, which I'm using right now. The next one's just a normal sword, but you get from killing half them, and then you can unlock it at the shop. Some people don't think using getting swords is really good, but I think it's really useful. This is the officer's sword, and last but not least, the hunk, the hanger sword is really good when using the warp darts. These are the guns. I've I've made I've I've crafted every gun. This is the French court. So you can get double wheels of this. This is the duck up pistol. You guys may think it gives you like three shots, but like. One shot equals three bullets. It's supposed to kill anybody, so I don't think it's worth it. This is the pit. This is the bad pistol you get at the beginning of the game, which everyone knows about. Ugh. This is the Italian 
It's not like it's massive. It's like a shotgun. This is the wire pistol. And this is the navy shot thing. If you guys look at me, that axe right next to me is the war tomahawk. That side is Lincoln's. And I have, if you just turn around, I have these guns which give you four bullets. Okay, yeah, thank you for watching you guys. Just a little thing about the mentors and the weapons in Assassin's Creed 3. Thanks for watching.